What is going on guys? We are here today in the EcoBoost and if you've driven a 2015 to 2017 Mustang with a manual transmission, then you know that the clutch feel in these cars is very strange. There's like a breakaway point midway through the release that really snaps back up. Today I'm going to show you guys probably the easiest fix and solution to this problem. I've actually done it to my personal 850 or so wheel horsepower Mustang GT. And uh, so we're gonna be doing it to the EcoBoost today as well. So basically, this is a replacement clutch spring for this car, and it's actually gonna be located right here at the very top of the clutch pedal. So I apologize if it's kind of hard to see, but the first thing you need to do is push down on this clutch pedal, grab the spring with some pliers, squeeze it together, Oh, and it comes off of its perch real nice and easy. So if you guys notice here, this is the entire assembly, what it looks like. Basically the way that this works is this top part stays still and this bottom piece right here is connected to the clutch pedal. So when you depress the pedal, it's obviously squeezing this spring and that's what gives you the really difficult clutch feel that you notice whenever you're driving these cars. So basically Steeda spring here is a direct replacement of that. And you can actually depress this one with your hand and it shows you how much lighter, honestly, that this spring is compared to to the factory OEM one. So now that we've got the two perches back together with the spring in between, we're gonna go ahead and get started on slapping this back up into the clutch pedal assembly. Okay, so we're back down here at the floorboard of the car. I'm gonna depress this clutch pedal, slide the top into place like so, and I'm gonna work around until I can get, oh, there we go, that bottom perch into place. And now I'll let the clutch pedal out and you see that the clutch is back to its original functionality, just a whole lot lighter. As you see, we have replaced the factory clutch spring in just under 20 seconds. Very simple, very easy, and super cheap. Now that I got the seat of spring installed into the car, let's go for a drive and see what it feels like. Immediately pushing in the clutch for the first time, you can already feel just such a huge difference. When pushing in the clutch now, it feels a whole lot more linear instead of exponential there at the very top and jerking your foot off the pedal. It feels very, very smooth now. I remember doing it in my Mustang for the first time. I obviously have the upgraded clutch. I've got a Manic clutch rated for probably upwards of 900 horsepower to 1,000 horsepower. So it, it's rated for a lot of power, but because of this clutch spring that I installed on my GT, it still feels very, very close to factory. And even on cars, like this one with the stock clutch installing this spring seriously helps in drivability crazy amounts it feels great now even myself who has a lot of experience driving manual cars getting into this car i even saw it a few times just because of how stiff the clutch was letting it out and it's just like a jerking motion as it comes up but now with this spring it's very very smooth one of the main issues that i have when launching these cars at drag strips is whenever i'm going to do my launch um, obviously holding the throttle and trying to feather the clutch, it requires a lot of delicacy and by letting the clutch out and having something jerking it back up really creates for a bad launch, obviously because you're dumping the clutch essentially at the very top. So having a linear clutch like this allows you for a lot more predictability with your launches and obviously gets you a lot better launch at the drag strip. And I definitely can say that after installing it into this car, it is definitely gonna help a lot with launches both on the street and the track. So honestly guys, for $20 and 20 seconds, the ease of install that anybody can do, it is a very cheap mod, but makes probably one of the biggest differences on these cars, take my word for it. I am super excited for tomorrow now. We're gonna be throwing the slicks onto the back of the EcoBoost and we're gonna be trying to get some really impressive times out of the car. I was looking online at Moto Trend and Car and Driver and a few other websites like that and the times that they said that the EcoBoost that are manuals can run seems a little disappointing. So we're gonna go try our best to beat that time. But for right now, I've got a really cool box right here that has to do with the motorcycle. So let me go ahead and take this inside and we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you guys what it is. All right, I have been anxiously awaiting this package for quite a few days now. Let's open it up and check it out, see what's inside. In this box is obviously a Cena dual pack. This is the Model 20S Evo. And basically what this is, is a headset that goes onto your motorcycle helmet that allows for you to listen to music, the radio, talk with friends, etc. It's basically like having a smartphone inside of your helmet. Everything works hands-free and it is seriously really, really cool. I've actually got one of these, which is the previous model. This is the SMH10 and it doesn't really work that well anymore. So we're gonna be replacing that today with this 20S Evo. First off, glancing at the outside of the box, you can see that it has Bluetooth. You can actually talk 
on group intercom with up to eight people, which is awesome. So if you're riding in a big group of people and everybody has a Cena brand headset, up to eight people can connect and all talk simultaneously. You can actually do on this one what is called audio multitasking, which means that you can listen to music while you're talking. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed onto the helmet, and I'm gonna talk to you guys as soon as I'm finished up, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the helmet. Well, I just got the new Cena installed on the side of the helmet, and I've actually slipped the helmet on and tried it out, and it sounds absolutely phenomenal compared to the previous model. Definitely, definitely worth the upgrade. I am so excited to get started riding using the new Cena headset. One more thing for today. Let's open this thing up. I told you guys that I had some gear coming in, and I believe that this is the first piece. Let's open it up and check it out. Finally. Dang, these things look nice. Definitely need some time to break in, but as of right now, I seriously love them. They look awesome and they feel great. I always forget how stiff brand new gloves are, dang. Huge shout out to Alpine Stars. These guys make, I kid you not, the best motorcycle gear. I completely swear by this company and I wear pretty much all of my gear from them. So thank you so much Alpine Stars for sending these over. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is get this X4 from SCT set up in the car to get started on tuning with Brantley Performance. If you guys saw a few videos ago, we actually opened this thing up, but I haven't actually got it hooked up to the car to get the ECU strategy and everything like that to send over to him. But basically what our plans are is to take the EcoBoost here to the track. And basically we're gonna be trying to get some times with it on a street tire and then on slicks. And then at the end of the day, I wanna get a few runs in with the slicks on the car and also with a bass tune with no mods. It's gonna be tune only on the car and I'm just honestly curious to see what the differences are in the quarter mile. Make sure you guys stay tuned for next video doing that. It's going to be pretty cool, I think. So I got the tuner plugged in now. I'm going to go ahead and turn the ignition on. So I just now went ahead and got that ECU strategy sent over to the tuner. I think we are done with that. So he's going to send me over a bass tune for this car here shortly. And we're going to have it on the tuner here to flash onto the car once we get to the drag strip. But as for now, that's probably going to be it for today's video, guys. Make sure you stay tuned for next video whenever we take the EcoBoost to the track. I'm very anxious to see what this thing runs. And I know you guys are too because I have had floods and floods of D asking about stuff to do with the EcoBoost. So we're gonna see how much of a difference all of these factors make whenever you're running at the drag strip. Obviously that clutch spring is gonna make a huge difference. It's gonna allow me to get a great launch in this car. So I am definitely super excited. Well, thank you so much for watching. Until next video.